Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install and use the bypass tray for the Sawgrass SG-1000. Now this will be the exact same way if you have the SG-500 or the older series like the 400 or the 800. So what you're going to do is unbox it and then simply peel away all of those little blue pieces of tape, remove any sort of plastic from the bypass. So you're going to take this piece off here at the bottom. And then we are going to take off this bubble wrap and take this little plastic piece and attach it to the bottom. You're gonna get a set of instructions that are right here in many different languages that's gonna tell you exactly what I'm telling you to do. So what you're gonna do is take this little plastic piece here and you see all those little holes, you're just gonna line this up and pop these into place, just like so. We're gonna flip it back over and let's go install it. So the first thing you wanna do is power off your machine once it's powered off, unplug the power cord and any sort of internet cable if you have it attached. So I'm just gonna flip this guy around and then we are going to install, this is like a little foot that's going to protect your machine from toppling over because with this bypass tray, you can attach like 51 feet, like you can attach like an entire roll of sublimation paper. So it's just gonna help it not be topple heavy. Does that make sense? All right, so now what we're gonna do is just pop these in. We're just gonna line it up and it literally just pops in. So you just wanna hear a click and you're good to go. So now I'm just going to flip it back around. Now obviously you would not want to put your bypass tray under a shelf like I did, but I'll pull it out as I use it. And now you're just going to power back on your machine, go over to your computer. I'm on a Mac. You want to go to your settings, choose your printer, go to options and supplies, go to options again and choose the bypass tray and hit OK. You can always pause this and go back. That's it. Now we're going to go over to Sawgrass Creative Studio and print something. So this time we got to print. We're going to choose our print printer like normal. And then we're going to go to the tray. This time we're going to choose bypass. So you have tray one, tray two, by, and then bypass. And then you want to choose whatever paper. Just now I've loaded 11 by 17. So I have a tabloid. Choose all your settings just like normal and hit print. All right, so now it's going to pop up. We're going to hit OK. And then over here, you're going to notice right away that it's going to say bypass. See where it says source? I'm going to circle it really quick so you guys can notice. It says bypass. You want to make sure it says that and you're good to go. If you see all of those things, you've installed it correctly. We're going to put it to the test. I've loaded a piece of paper. You can obviously see my shelf, but it does suck it in. I was shocked. Like the way that it said, I was kind of like, I don't know if this is going to work. It sucked it right in. So you can load one piece of paper. It's going to be great if you use like C these are easy subly because you can load one sheet at a time, but you can also print like 51 inches at a time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you found it helpful, if you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.